there's nothing more personal than writing a book. Nothing more personal than writing a book. And uh, this is now on the shelf forevermore. What made you want to do this, Jim? I just felt it was time with everything that had gone on. And um, it's been 43 years in broadcasting and thousands upon thousands of interviews and events. And right. it just kind of all added up. And Stedman Graham always tells me two things. He's written 12 books. He says, Jim Gray, they're paying you to talk. Just keep talking. Get all this down on paper. So I finally took his advice. Okay. And how long did it take you? Uh, I mean, did you, get any, did you have any help here? Or? I did. Okay. Greg Bishop of Sports Illustrated did a ter- tremendous job. He wrote the book with me. It took us uh, just under three years. And uh, wow. he went through all these interviews and transcripts and dug up all these stories with me and Really did a great job. A really diligent, terrific writer. Anything um, that you saw uh, as a thread through line to the goats that you're referring to? Uh, you put uh, many of them on the front cover of your book. You had uh, uh, Tom Brady's the writing the forward. Is there a through line that you that you found with all of these people that you have spoken to so successful that they were? I, I think they all have you know those basic components of hard work, dedication, and and they're myopic in their pursuit of that excellence. Right, uh, but they all seem to go about it in much different ways. And how so? Well, I mean, you know, some of them are tormented by that ability to touch perfection but not grasp it. Like Michael Phelps, who spent his entire life, you know, as an adult, staring at a black line to try and get a fingernail to the end of the board first. Mm. Uh, and you know that that just think about just think about that statement and what that might do to you. Um, Floyd Mayweather defined himself much differently uh, with a 50-0 and record. That O after his name meant everything to him. And also that O after his bank account meant everything to him. Yeah, that's right. Uh, whereas Don Shula, you know, the perfect season, uh, ended up defining him, not only the 347 wins, which is the most all-time, uh, but what, what, he want, what he wanted for his team uh, to have 1972 be remembered forever. So... Uh, everybody goes about it differently. Tom Brady, obviously, um, uh, he wants to touch it again and again and again and again, and he can't hold on to it. But he's had the perfect quarter. He's had the perfect comeback. He's had, you know, all of those things. But what drives him is to do it, you know, for the seventh time now. Um, and Kobe Bryant didn't matter to him. Kobe Bryant was going to win no matter what. And the commitment to win, it didn't matter who you were, if you were a teammate, or an opponent, and you were in the way, he knocked you over. So um, they all go about it differently, uh, but they all are trying to reach the same place. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.